Setting up your Globe at Home LTE Advanced Prepaid Wi-Fi is very easy. You just need to open your browser and go to 192.168.254.254 which is written at the back of your modem where you can also find the username and password. Sometimes you'll be prompted by a warning. Just click on Advance and then click Proceed at the bottom. This will now lead you to the modem overview page where you can see information such as your signal type and here we can see that it's LTE+. Here you can also see the antenna status which is currently internal. The device has two external antenna ports but since the modem doesn't currently have admin access, you cannot set the antenna to external and the default is the internal antenna. So to log in, just click on the login button at the top right hand corner of your screen and enter the details written at the back of your modem. Just click next, then click agree. Then you'll proceed to setting up your Wi-Fi name and password. Here you have the option of band steering, wherein when active, you'll only have one SSID or Wi-Fi name, and connection will automatically switch from 5GHz to 2.4GHz depending on the signal strength with preference to the 5GHz band. If band steering is not active, you'll have two SSIDs and have to transfer from 5GHz to 2.4GHz if needed. Next would be setting your password for the device login. And you're done! You can now access the device control panel and on the home page you can see the signal strength and the connection status. On the Wi-Fi basic setting is where you can toggle band steering and is where you can change the Wi-Fi name or SSID of your device and your password to connect to the Wi-Fi. On the Devices tab, you can see the devices that are currently connected as well as those devices that connected previously. Here you can check if there are devices that you don't recognize. On the Tools tab, you can check SMS messages sent to your modem such as the code to activate your Globe at Home app account. Here you have also the parental controls where you can manage website access and time limits for devices. On the advanced settings, you'll have different settings on your Wi-Fi such as the number of devices that can connect, some advanced router and security settings which for a regular user doesn't really matter as much, and on the device information screen, you can see details of your modem such as your number and even the cell ID of the tower you're connected to. Hopefully, the experts can figure out admin access so that we can do band locking and setting up external antennas. So with that, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, The Misadventures of Ronnie G. Thank you for watching and stay safe.